Hello once again, this is your teacher Jenny. Join me for another discussion of finding the area under the normal curve. So here we have our problem, find the area between z equal to 0 0.32 and z equal to 1.23. So if we are going to use some illustration here, then we can plot that one as um, z equal to 0 0.32 that might be somewhere here on the right side because that's positive and we have 1.23 might be somewhere here now notice they are now both positive the z values are both positive so of course it is right that all the z there will lie on the same side so this is now the area that we are looking for now if in the event of our area or our area here the z z values are located on the same side so we will be following your method the s s s this is not the social security system here in the philippines this is what we have for same that's the first S. And this one here, the second S stands for signs or side. Signs, if you are now given your Z value in there, automatic, we know what to do for that one if we have the concept of the SSS. Now for the side, if you are given the illustration, we know right away if what to do with that one in finding the area if we know that they are on the same side so what to do if your area or the z values lies on the same side so this is going to be the last s this is the one that will be telling us that we need to subtract so again sss stands for same signs subtract same sides subtract so that is sss so looking at this illustration we know that they are on the same side so we have to subtract their areas so locating your first area here 0 0.32 um i mean area equivalent to 0 0.32 sorry on that one we have that under the column as 0 0.3 and the header as with the last digit of two in there so moving down and moving across we have this area so we have that one as 0 0.1255 next we have the z value 1.23 so we locate that one 1.2 is here on the column and 3 is on the last digit on the header so we go down and we move across this is now the area so we are to put that one at the top because we, if you are doing manual computation, I mean, but if you are using calculator, then go ahead. You can just press that one and take note. There is no negative area as the value of the area. Everything under area is positive. So whether you've got there a negative, you have to turn, you convert, you have to take out the negativity in there because some of you might be just plugging right away the area on the calculator without thinking that this should be on the the subtrahend part and this one is on the minuend part. So that can be okay, but you have to know that the area must be positive. Okay. So again, we have 0 0.39. I'm putting that one at the top. So we have 0 0.3907 because that's bigger compared to this area, which is 0 0.1255. So subtracting, we have that as 7 minus 5, that's 2. 0 minus 5 cannot be, so we borrow. This is now 10. This becomes 8. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 2, that's 6. 3 minus 1, that's 2. So we have 0 0.2652 as the area, or that is equivalent to 26.52%. So this is that area. Okay? Let's move on to the next one. So by this one, you have here two values inside that parenthesis. So this is, by the way, another representation 
of or indicator that you need to find the probability because P here stands for probability of your Z less than 1.25 but greater than 1.13. So that is what it means. Now take note in the normal distribution again, when you say probability, this is the same thing as the area covered by your two Z values. Take note, your Z here is in between. So that means to say that the area we're looking for are the area, or I mean, sorry, is the area in between the two Z values, okay? So let's start and begin with that. We know that your two Z values have the same sign. Of course, if you illustrate that one, they lie on the same side. So we know what to do. Same sign, subtract, okay? So from that one, we can just right away solve for the area without illustrating that up. But for such event in which your teacher might be asking you for illustration, then you have to do the illustration, okay? So let's now start looking for the area for each of your Z value. Let's, let's start with 1.13. 1.1 in the column and 3 on the last digit of the header. We go down and we move across to get the area. So the area there is 0 0.3708. Next one, we go for 1.25. 1.2 on the column and then 5 on as the last digit on the, he the header there. And then we go down and this will be your area so we have that one as 0 0.3944 so subtracting that one this is now um cannot be we are borrowing so this is going to be 14 this is going to be 3 so we have 14 minus 8 that's 6 and 3 minus 0 that's 3 and then we have 9 minus 7 that's 2 and 3 minus 3 that's 0 so we have 0 0.0236 which is equivalent to 2.36 in percent okay now try to illustrate or trying this one in illustration we have 1.13 as somewhere here and 1.25 might be somewhere here so upon looking at that one we are pretty sure and 100 percent sure that our area that we've obtained from the one that we did a while ago is indeed correct because you have there a very small area in between 1.13 and 1.25. So next, we go for the next example here. And again, we are looking for the probability or the area in between the two Z values in here. So without the illustration, we can just know this one because they have the same side we know what to do right away for following sss same side subtract so we're subtracting each of the area here for your z score or z value so 1.17 locating that one we have 1.1 in the column and we have seven as the last digit on the header we go down and we move across and then we have your area so we have zero point three seven nine zero next one we have 0 0.02 locating 0 0.02 here we have the column as 0, 0.0 and last digit on the header as two so we have this area so we have 0 0.0080 so subtracting that up this is zero this is one this is seven this is three so we have zero point 3710 or you can have that one as 0 0.371 or that is equivalent to 37.1 percent or you can have that one as 37.10 percent again we can just um illustrate that one as negative 0 0.2 will be more closer to your center or to zero and then 1.17 is somewhere here so as you can see there your area is somewhat bigger, so it's going to be 37.1%, okay? So next one we have here, find the area between Z equal to negative 1.28 and Z equal to negative 0 0.59. So again, the Z values there are with the same sign. So we know what to do. We follow SSS, same sign, subtract. 
So we have 1.28 locating that one on the Z table. We have 1.2 on the column and 8 on the last digit of your header. We go down, we have this value for the area, 0 0.3997, and then we have 0 0.59. So we locate 0 0.5 on the column and 9 on the header. So we go down, we move across, and that will be our area. So subtracting that up with your other area there. So we have that as 7 minus 4, that's 3. 9 minus 2, that's 7. 9 minus 2, that's 7. 3 minus 2, that's 1. So we have 0 0.1773. Or this is equivalent to 17.73%. So illustrating, we have that one as negative 1.28, somewhere here. And then we have 0 0.59 might be here. So this is now the area. Okay? So remember, if you have their same sign, you subtract. Follow SSS for same sign as the value of your Z-score. Okay? So I hope you learned something from me. And again, this is your teacher, Jenny, wishing you good luck for every test under the area of the normal distribution.